What's up guys, if you are sick and tired of getting scammed by NBA 2K's packs, make sure to head over to safembamt.com, use code BUGS for 5% off a checkout, and get that cheap, fast, reliable MT that you guys definitely need in this game. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video, and guys, today... We're going over top snipe filters in NBA 2K21 My Team. And guys, we're going to go over all the best snipe filters in the game, period. Uh, before we get into the video, guys, if you could please, please smash the like button. Let's hit 50 likes in this video. Um, MT Giveaway winner will be announced probably tomorrow, probably on YouTube and Twitter. If you follow Instagram and Twitter, like I said, you have a better chance of actually winning the giveaway. Not only that, man. Um, not only that. If you do need MT, hit me up. I am selling MT, buying MT, all that good stuff. We're going to go over all the best snipe filters in the game possible, okay? Literally all the best snipe filters in the game. Um, pretty much, you guys been asking me like crazy, bro. What is the best snipe filters? Well, I pretty much go over every Sunday the best snipe filters in NBA 2K21 just to help you guys out, to help you make MT. Because guys, this XP grind is getting out of hand. Not gonna lie. So we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna get right, right into it. All right, boys. So here we go. We're going over it. I'm going over the probably the high money spent ones and then the lower budget ones after that so we're gonna start off with this one right here okay um small forward pink diamond is actually a good one okay um this one is for grand hill dominique wilkins james worthy pedja stojagovic in which they are all snipes so let's get into it guys this today man we gotta get on our grind so this is the best snipe filter honestly for pink diamonds we got dominique pedja um and i think pedja might go up in value so if you do snipe out pedja for a pretty decent amount I honestly would hold on to him because in the end, when they do release that J.R. Smith, he's going to be very good. J.R. Smith is absolutely goaded. And um, J.R. Smith every year in 2K is goaded. So he's going to be a very good card. They already released his stats. He's very good. So I think Pedro Stojagovic will rise up in value. That's Mr. Number One. So small forward pink diamond. We also got this filter. And it's small forward eastern pink diamond. And uh, why isn't it where? Okay. Small forward, no clutch. Small forward, Ping Dine Eastern. Why do I say this one's good? Well, we only got Grant Hill, Vince Carter, and Dominique Wilkins on here. So this is more like, I feel like if accidentally another thing pops up with Worthy 100K and Vince Carter 100K or something like that on the regular one, there might be a small chance you accidentally buy the wrong one instead of the big boy Vince Carter. So small forward, Ping Diamond. I'm going to try to get myself a Grant Hill. I have to get Grant Hill regardless to do challenges. I'm not trying to lose a million MT off of grand hill so definitely try out this filter it's very good for people with over 100k and y'all we're gonna get into the next filter man let's get into some diamond filters uh i'm going diamond cheapest we're gonna honestly try to discover some in this video uh but diamond cheapest is definitely a good one i think david west yeah so if you guys did invest in david west he is definitely one of the good ones that you guys did invest in the other day he's like 25k looks like david west is almost up to 35k so right here it is filter this filter is very good still to this day it's been good for a while and um i definitely think you guys should try out this filter like i said <clears throat> all these snipe filters showing you are technically the best snipe filters in the game the only problem is the only problem is with sniping it, it's very it's very hard i'm not an impatient person but i came to the conclusion in 2k20 that when i became patient i did snipe out a ton of opals um, back in 2k20 man when the opal filter was key i did make a lot of profit off being patient i would snipe out a couple opals per hour did miss some but it's still it's how you're gonna make the most money um so other than that here we go we're gonna talk about another one and this filter is decent because of the fact that it shows if the market is crashed or not so now looking at it if you see manu over 90 kmt or 88 kmt and over the market is actually kind of high okay Right there, 83k Manu. That looks like a snag to me. I'm not going to buy because I am kind of low on MT. But right here, guys. Right here. Very, very, very key. Very, very key. This knife filter, if you scroll, you could possibly get a Ray Allen and get lucky. But I don't know. I do like, I feel like this is a good snipe filter to actually invest in. Right now, it's not worth investing in. If you see Manu Ginobili for under 75k, invest in him. I'm telling you, you'll make MT. Uh, but that's just another little snipe filter I wanted to show you nothing crazy you also could do enabled but we're gonna go into some diamond ones i'm gonna try to test them out let's check out diamond shooting guard diamond this diamond that diamond this diamond that so diamond shooting guard let's see what we have and we have draws and petrovich in here 
We have Desmond Mason, and these are all lock-ins for Ray Allen. We also have Allen Iverson. So if you guys want, you could go diamond shooting guard cheapest. I don't know what the cheapest is. So Isaiah Ryder is the cheapest by a lot. So we would put this shooting guard filter to around 45,000, 50,000 MT. And you never know what's going to pop up. Like I said, you could sit here and refresh all day. You do have to know pricing somewhat. It's definitely worth a try. We also got small forward diamond. This is another good snipe filter. Even though Darius Miles does kind of ruin it, but you could still snipe him out. Definitely try out this filter. We're going to go into the amethyst filters. To this day, I still recommend using these amethyst filters. Very, very good profit margin. Um, we got shooting guard amethyst. All right. Shooting guard amethyst is definitely very good. Why? Because you lock it in for CJ McCollum. And honestly, that... Shooting guard amethysts have value because they're actually all good. Like Michael Cooper's good, Richie Guerin's good. Um, I can't even remember. I can't even remember other shooting guards. So shooting guard amethyst definitely a good one. You never know what you're gonna get. Like I said, in all these snipe filters I'm showing you, it's all about the process. It's all about the weight. Um, so Steve Smith is the cheapest for around 15k. Like I said, very good snipe filter. I did snipe out a couple Coopers, a couple Guerins, and like I said, if you invested in Guerin. About a couple weeks ago, for a 9 to 10K, he's up over 15,000 MT. So if you did listen to me, congratulations. Like I said, some investments could take a very long time to wait. And I also predicted the market to rise. So today is a very, 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 very amazing day to actually sell your cards. So other than shooting guard Amethyst, what else do we got? Well, we also have Amethyst Cheapest, in which Karam Butler is kind of ruining because of his price dropping and dropping and dropping. Is he good investment? Honestly, guys, I don't think he's that bad of an investment. Luis Cola kind of is ruining too, but I would put it up to where I am right now, 9,000 something, Amethyst cheapest. You never know what's going to pop up, like I keep saying, so definitely try this out. And we're going to go over another little snipe filter for you guys in one minute. So here it is, man, Amethyst cheapest. And then we're going to go over the man, the myth, the legend, Amethyst 20, guys. This filter is cash. It's been cash for a very long time. Like I said, man, Kawhi Leonard is one of the issues in the snipe filter, but he did rise from Friday. He was around 8K on Friday, going up to 11. Not the biggest rise, but you want to look for Giannis, Steph Curry, LeBron James, and AD. And yesterday, I invested in a couple out of his 20s, and it was LeBron for 12K, AD for 12K, and AD for 12K again, and Curry and Giannis, all for around 12K. Looks like I did make profit already. For some reason on Friday, people throw up their Amethyst 20s for cheap. I guess for extra MT because I've done it before. And um, honestly, great investment by Bugs. I'm holding in my collection for now until they do release a challenge. So now, not only am I filters, I'm honestly going to show you an MT method as well. So uh, here we go. We got D'Angelo Russell. Score 25 points in a single game. So here we go. D'Angelo Russell. Okay. Uh, we're going to show you real quick. And why is this filter good? Well, if you're up at 2 a.m., they release the challenges at 2 a.m., 11, 11 p.m. Pacific, 2 a.m. East. So now you just have to drop 20-something points with D'Angelo Russell. So now what happened the other day was at 2 a.m., I backed out 2K, went back in quickly, saw that Eric Pasha was around, uh, was the plate, was the person. So I ran to the auctions. I saw Eric Pasha, 1K, 1K, 2K, 1K, like 1.5K, ended up scooping two of them. Did the sold the one off for around 20k and then ended up selling the other Eric Paschal that I did the challenge with for 18k. So I made about 35k, I believe, around yeah, 35k guys off one card. 35k off a gold Eric Paschal. So now what am I doing? What's Shake and Bake doing? What are a lot of other people doing? Well, they're keeping all the golds. The golds, the rubies, the sapphires, the silver. So pretty much gold and above in their collection. And now why? If you guys are up early in the morning, their price is super, super high. One of the only goals I don't have is Colby White because he is pretty expensive. But what I did, if you look at my collections, I have almost every single gold and or up in every collection, guys. So this is going to be one of my best MT making methods by far. So you guys definitely should try this out. If you do stay up late, it's definitely a good move. But realistically, we're going to go you one more snipe filter before we do end the video. And it is Ruby Cheapest. Now, this filter kind of is just very, very good. Um, well, it's very good in a, a couple ways. Well, Ruby filters could, like I said, man, if you want to pick up some Embiid, some Jokic's, throw them in your collection. You never know if they get a challenge or not. It's a very good bet. In the end, if you pick up every gold or above, they do about four of these a week. So you're going to make your money back no matter what in a couple weeks. And not a couple weeks, in a couple days. So first off, it does up your collection big time. And it also helps you out a ton with MT. Very good method in my opinion. And then we also got this. 
Um, minimum buyout, 650 if you want. We could even do it cheaper if you guys want. But yeah, these are the best snipe filters in 2K. If you know any other snipe filters, man, make sure to let me know. That is really all we got for the video. So guys, like it up, sub it up, all that good stuff. It would be appreciated. That is all we got. Have a good one. Peace. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I am buying and selling MT. Hit me up right now.